the holidays are to be shared with loved ones. And I can't think of a better time to have my wife, Julie, back on the show. This time, she's bringing us a delicious seasonal sangria recipe to share on your own table that's nothing to whine about. All right, guys, it is holiday cocktail time. What are we making today, dear? We are making a fall sangria. It's that time of year, you're celebrating, you've got friends coming over, whether it's fall, Thanksgiving, whatever. People are coming over. So we're gonna make a uh, fall sangria. That sounds good. Yeah. That's great for when yeah. people are coming over to the house and have to yeah. like serve them right away, but you have something for Exactly, them. it could be like the entry cocktail. They walk in, it's already set up, self-serve, and you are not stuck making everybody drinks. Cool, yeah. let's get making. Well, let's go. First step is you need a pitcher. Okay. Clear is nice, you can see all the fruit and everything as we go, so it's real pretty. Mm -hmm. And then we are going to slice an apple, super thin, like a nice tart apple. I'm using Granny Smith. You can use anything, but a good tart, Granny Smith is always great. Nice. Slice an orange in half, and then slice that super thin. Same with a lime, slice it thin. You're gonna put all those in your pitcher, along with a half cup of fresh cranberries. Everybody into the bath. Do you wanna measure out a half cup of those cranberries, please? Yep. You can pop those in, too. Pop it in our brown sugar. Okay, take a wooden spoon or a muddler and just kind of mash it a little bit, like macerate the fruit a little bit, let the brown okay. sugar kind of mix in with things, just to make sure you get everything good and released. And then we get to the good part. A whole bottle of red wine. There we um, go. I mean, anything's fine, but you want something on the sweeter end. You don't have to do anything expensive because you're doing a lot of mixing with yeah. things, so no reason to go top shelf. This is how I pour my glass of wine on a Friday night. Yeah, yeah, this is Eric's serving. Then you do a half cup of Grand Marnier. All right. Which just kind of has an orangey flavor to it. Yeah. Okay. And then you're gonna put in two cups of pomegranate juice inside. Uh, if you don't like pomegranate juice, you can use cranberry, but nothing else sweeter because of the wine. You don't wanna mix anything else other than that. Okay, and I'm gonna stir it up. And then this goes in the fridge for two hours at least or overnight. 24 hours is kind of the max. You can still drink it for probably a good two to three days, but its peakness is between two and 24 hours. Okay, and the other thing, fun little tip, what I did to keep it extra cold as well was I took some fresh cranberries and I froze them. So now they're like little ice balls. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Some people like to put a little soda water on top just to give it a little bit of effervescence. And then you've there got this go. beautiful holiday sangria. Awesome. All right, guys, this is easy enough to make. And with the holidays, it's great to have it ready for your guests. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. OK, you can do the dishes. For more Cocktails with Julie, check out our Friday segment, Friday Cocktails with Julie, on Fox 12 Now.